Given tonight's Final Jeopardy clue, it's quite ironic that this would be my first evening back in Brooklyn. This is the final wager. I'm Keith Williams, and I'm glad to be back. I had a lot of fun over the past two weeks, uh, getting snowballs pelted at me, seeing dogs, seeing my old car, breaking my old car, seeing my family, blah, blah, blah. I love all those things, but there's something to be said about having a home of your own, and that's where I am now. Speaking of home, the whiteboard stays here. It's too big to transport, and Vaughn, in his sixth game, is getting his first whiteboard treatment, so glad you held out that long, Vaughn. Heh, <laughs> long Vaughn. Sorry, Corey. He's got the lead here, 18-2, Elliot 16,000, Mike 2,400. Uh, both of those daily doubles in the Double Jeopardy round, I thought, were going to be made true, but... I think you could tell that Elliot's face after he did not make the Trudeli double, and he got Dowager pretty quickly. It's just like, ah, oh, why didn't I do that? Uh, so dumb. Okay, enough blabbering. Let's start with Elliot doubling up. So first order, 16,000 doubled is 32,000. So for Vaughn to top that, that's 38. He's wrong with that wager. He's going to be left with 4,400. So for Elliot's stay above him, that's going to be 11 6. And Mike can catch Vaughn, but he's going to have to wager everything. Or at least 2,000. And you can tell he's still in contention from the get go because he has 2,400. The difference between Vaughn and Elliot is 2,200. Remember, you have to have at least the difference between first and second if you're in third. But with a savvy wager, Elliot can keep him at bay. So 4,800 would be a double total by Mike, so that means we'll restrict Elliot to 11, 11, 2. Now, you might have seen on the written analyses that I do, I started using minimum and maximum columns. So each player has a minimum and a maximum, and I kind of pair them up toward the end. And I think it's a lot more visually appealing and makes it easier to follow those. So I'll start doing that here, too. I am done with the red. That's first order out of the way. And now I have pink for second order. And it's only in between Vaughn and Elliot. So Elliot could wager this 11 2. Let's see, he does that. That would give him 27 2. So if Vaughn wants to roll the dice and doesn't think that Elliot's going to go big, he go for 9,000. He's wrong with that wager, he'll be left with 9,200. So stay above that. That is going to be uh, 6,800 at most. All right, I like using the light yellow for the first order, light orange for the second, and some green for the third for the zero wagers, which I'll do now with blue, I guess. I'm just screwing with everyone's color palettes right now. Elliot and Vaughn separated by 2,200, so Elliot will want to cover a zero wager. He'll also want to cover an unsafe wager. He can do that within this range. So an unsafe wager, if Vaughn just wants to force Elliot to get it right, he can wager no more than 2,200. And to cover that, Elliot will want to wager 4,400. And of course, the last thing we do is any minimum wager that we can, we add a dollar to, and any maximum wager that we can, we subtract a dollar from. As for how our players did, Mike got it right, $23.99. Elliot also got it right and wagered just $22.01. Unfortunately, that's not a good wager because it doesn't cover the unsafe wager by Vaughn, so I gotta give him the pink on that one. Didn't matter though, because Vaughn missed and went for the lockout, as he has every time he's faced a situation like that. And we say goodbye to a very good five-time champion with $103,103. That's got to be the only time that's ever happened. And it's sad that he didn't win that fifth game on 103. I think everyone's mind would have blown. They probably would have had to end the show. Elliot looks like a really fun dude. Uh, his reaction after the game, just priceless. And he'll be back on Monday. We'll see how he does then. 
and I hope you have a great weekend. Take care. This is The Final Wager. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The reason it's ironic that I'm back in Brooklyn? Barbara Streisand. That's it. Bye.